Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Amari Kalia. I am here with a new video. It's been a while since I've done a sit down and talk video, but I just have some things on my mind that I really want to get out to the world and hope that I can help somebody in some way. Um, it's currently 8.41 and um, I'm about to get ready and go to work. <laughs> Got me some coffee. Um, and uh, I just really wanted to talk to you guys about what I've been feeling and just like how I'm responding to everything. So if you are new here, my name is Amari. I am, um, I live in Atlanta and I am a trainer. I, you know, help people with their health and their fitness. That is something that I just started. At the beginning of this year, in January, I started a personal training course and I finished in May and then I took the certification exam in June and so after that I started my business as a personal trainer got my LLC all of those things and so it is now September end of September and um, I have just been learning you know how to be a business owner how to be an entrepreneur and it's something that I've always wanted to do but um, you know I went to college and so Marlo, get away from my, get away. So yeah, I've just been learning like how everything works and it's been a very interesting process. Um, definitely hard, it's not something that's easy. But um, I continue to, I continue to post my content. I continue to, you know, tell the world that I'm a trainer. So, you know, put myself out there. Um, and within the past week, I have gained two clients in one week. They both started the same week, which is awesome. And then like, so last week I got like huge flux of like consultation forms. So, Cause basically you find me on social media or whatever, you do my consultation form and then I reach out to you to set up an in-person meeting at the gym where I train. And then we just go from there. And so like last week I had like. A lot of consultations I had like four or five which is a lot because like I wasn't getting any and so in total I've had about 14 people complete a form and I've met about seven or eight people in person um, and it's just been an ongoing like process and like obviously it's going to be an ongoing process as long as I keep going and I believe in myself but I want what I wanted to talk about is just the idea of like taking control of your life and being patient and not conforming to the world. Now, I know I said a mouthful, but I'm gonna break it down a little bit. So one thing that's been like bothering me is the commute that I take to drive from my job to the gym because I got off work around five. And then my first training session is at 6 p.m. So I'm having to drive from my job to the gym. And if you live in Atlanta, you know that the traffic is insane or if you've ever been here. And so it's kind of been bothering me this week because I'm like, dang, like, I'm not going to be able to do this commute every day. Like, I need to find me a new job. Like, I, I just can't do this. And I had to, like, take a step back and realize, like, Nobody said it was going to be easy. Like, this is what you asked for. You wanted to be a trainer. You want to be a trainer full-time. Like, you want to eventually quit your job and be a trainer full-time. You want to help people with their health, their fitness. And when I tell you guys, I love it. Like, I love my clients. I love training. I love, like, coaching and guiding people throughout the workout. It's, like, the greatest feeling. I love it so much. And... And it's like, girl, this is what you asked for. This is what you want. You didn't say how you were going to get it. You didn't say, like, there had to be conditions. You just said that you want to be a trainer. And now God has provided me with two clients. He's gave me this opportunity to help two people with their health. And I'm already, like, taking it for granted. And I'm already being, like, ungrateful and complaining. And I have to take a step back and realize, like, girl this is a part this is a part of the process like this is what you need to do to build discipline to prove that this is for you to prove that you have what it takes to be a trainer and to like fulfill the purpose that god has for me and you know i have what it takes to take control and do the things that i know i need to do be disciplined be consistent and work hard and so i had to realize like okay girl 
be quiet stop complaining pray about it you know find a way to make this easier for you so like instead of me leaving at 5 p.m i'm leaving work at 4 45 15 minutes early because i don't like to be late and i left at five o'clock one day and i didn't get there till like 6 05 6 10. i don't like that i like to be early i like to be there before my clients so like now i leave at 4 45 and i get there around 5 30 5 45 which is great for me like as long as i'm getting there before six o'clock i am good and so i made that change and it's just like whenever you um are going through things in life you can either complain about it or you can figure out a way to solve it so for me that's what i did i was like you know what okay let me just fix this fix this situation and i know like and then another thing like i was saying that i want another job but like i literally have a job where I get to edit my YouTube videos at work. I get to post my content at work. I get to plan things, listen to videos. Like I like I get to do everything for my business at my job. Like I don't think anybody can really say that they can do that at work. And so for me, I'm like I need to take what I have and make the best of it and not complain and not be ungrateful and just be so appreciative of everything that I have in my life right now because I believe that, you know, God is not going to put too much on me that I can't bear. And at the same time, it's like he put me in these situations to help me. Like when I first started my certification, I was at this job that I'm currently at. And I was able to study at my job and complete, literally complete my course. Like while I was working there, like I was able to take off for two weeks because um, at the end of the course, there was two weeks of live in person, like one on like a group session like training so we were able to like meet our instruction instructors and you know do hands-on training things like that and my job allowed me to be off for two weeks paid and she also let me work from home a little bit just so i wouldn't be using all of my pto time so it was just like everything happens for a reason and obviously like long term i don't want to be at this job that long but i'm able to like i got a pay raise and i'm able to like save more money that way when i am ready to take that leap and leave the job and train full time i'll have some money stacked up you know you just have to find the positive in everything and not be so negative or pessimistic so that's one thing that i wanted to talk about and it's something that i'm just so grateful for that i came to the realization of y'all i love dunkin coffee i get a hot coffee with oat milk and french vanilla and it is amazing i get it before i go to the gym um and i drink like a little bit of it and then i drink the rest afterwards um after I eat my breakfast. Another thing that I want to talk about, and I'm going to do a separate video on this. I've kind of done a video on this before, but I'm just realizing how many people and how much we are conformed to this world. And I don't think people really know what it means. But to me, like conforming to the world means that like you're going out of your way to fit in with society or you're letting society really like control your life and unfortunately that's how we were raised like that's we were born into this system so all of us are going to be controlled in some way but i think that a lot of people don't understand that there are many ways that you can take control of your life so when it comes to your health when it comes to your career when it comes to your character and how you treat people how you treat yourself those are all things that you can control and that you can um take into your own hands obviously health like you can definitely like lose weight and eat healthier and exercise but obviously if you have something like cancer or you know some type of autoimmune disease or things you know things like that i definitely understand like at some point it is out of your control but when it comes to those like daily habits and routines that you can put into your life to better yourself those are things that you can control to make yourself be a better person. You know, a lot of us let the world control us in so many ways with these ads, with marketing, with the, these titles and money and all these things really cloud our judgment and make us be someone that we're really not. And we don't really like try to learn who we really are. So I just want to tell you guys to spend more time alone 
unplug from social media as much as you can if you have a business on social media like myself like i post my content and i get back off like i may post on my story but i literally have the apps hidden off my phone to where i can't just like go and click on it. i have to like go and search for the app and that's for instagram and tiktok um so yeah unplug from social media spend more time alone um go to church and i the only reason i say go to church is because of the like motivation and inspiration and just like words of wisdom that you get from your pastor now i know there are pastors out there who be out of pocket they be doing some crazy stuff but i've had the opportunity to go to a church where i really love the pastor he is amazing and i love him because he connects like the word and spirituality to self-development like he's really big on like self-development and mindset and habits routines and stuff like that and so that's why i really was like attracted to his word and um i just love his spirit and so find a church home or even if you find one online there are so many people online who like preach about the word or, you know, they're just offering their wisdom or teaching their wisdom that they got from God or that they got from their own experiences and research. And though and I feel like it's important because it just puts in that wisdom and positivity and inspiration and motivation. We need to hear more like positive stuff and more of like wisdom and just learning about like how to really be your best self those are the things that we need to be hearing more often on a regular basis versus and like not even just one day a week but literally every day you need to be feeding yourself positive things to help you to grow and to change your mindset and to have a different perspective on life so yeah guys like i said unplug from social media stay away from toxic people whether that's people at work whether that's family and that's one of the hardest things i'm dealing with is staying away from toxic family members i know y'all probably like girl you always be saying it but that's one of the hardest things that i deal with just because i am a family oriented person like i love family i love my siblings my parents my i love my family like i just something that i take pride in but at the same time when you invest too much into family or into friends or work friends or co-workers whatever you want to call it like Anytime you invest too much into that, you drain your own energy and you take away from yourself. And so I'm learning how to find that balance, but more so like focus on myself and only help people in a way that I want to help them or any way that I can. But I'm not like overextending myself or oversharing or over like trying to prove that I'm a good daughter or a good friend or good sister whatever it is like i am just being myself and i can help you if i can or if it's in my will or if it's aligned with my values and my morals but if it's not i'm sorry and so i'm just learning to stand for stand firm in those beliefs and in those like um i guess boundaries and really just accepting the fact that sometimes in life you have to be selfish so that's another thing that i'm learning and then also guys i'm just learning about being patient like with my whole like business even with youtube like this is something that i'm building and i want it to last a long time forever like you know as long as i can and i am only 23 years old i just turned 23 in july so i'm like okay yeah like be persistent and be diligent and be consistent and disciplined but at the same time this is a process and it's a journey and you know once you reach the destination what's next like i don't even want to think about that so so it's only right that i focus on the journey and i make the most of every single day you know becoming better you know increasing my ways and running more and eating healthier and you know just finally finding solitude and just like the process you know so that's the stage that I'm in in life and I hope you guys, you know, can learn something from this video or take something from it. I will see you guys in my next one. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think about this video. Comment, like, and also follow me on Instagram. And I also have another channel where I post like all of my workouts and anything training related. I post it on my other channel. So. If you want to say that as well, subscribe to that channel. And like I said, subscribe to this one. And I will see you guys in my next video.